Now that you've created a project and built a process definition, it's time to add collaborators to your project. To add collaborators, navigate back to the project view. Click Collaborators and then click Add User. Here you can enter the email addresses of the collaborators that you would like to add. You can set different permissions for the collaborators you include. The project admin role allows users to make changes to the project and invite other people to the project. This role has the most permissions. The editor role doesn't allow users to make changes to the project itself, but they can add new subfolders and diagrams and edit any existing diagrams. The commenter role only allows adding comments, and the viewer role only allows viewing. These roles have the least permissions. After entering the email addresses and admin rights for the collaborators, you can optionally include a project description. When you're ready to share the project, click Send Invites, and each person will receive an email invitation with a link to the project. If you'd like to share the process definition directly, Navigate into the process and then click the Share button. You can then copy the link URL, embed the diagram, or share via email like you did when adding collaborators. By clicking the three dots at the top right, you can also export the diagram as a PNG or SVG or download it as an XML, which you can then upload to the modeler again if you like. Now that you've added collaborators to your project, you'll want to be sure that it's easy to read and understand. One useful tool for this is annotations. Annotations are like notes that you can add to different elements in your process to add additional context. To add an annotation to an object, click on it and then click the Add Text Annotation button. This will add an association line and a text box that you can type in. Click the Determine Risk Level task and enter an annotation that says this task evaluates the information from the application. Annotations are included in the BPMN 2.0 specification, so they will be included in your process definition in any tool that supports BPMN. If you'd like to communicate with collaborators about something specific directly in the process itself, you can do so using comments. Say, for example, there's something in the process that needs to be fixed or you just want to share general information about what's going on in the diagram, you can add a comment by selecting an object and then clicking the comment button. In the text field, you can type your comment and you can tag anyone who's been added as a collaborator to the project. Whoever's been tagged will receive a notification that there's a comment for them. Now you can see the comment displayed here. You can also edit or delete your comment by clicking the three dots at the right. Note that comments are a feature of Komunda, not the BPMN 2.0 specification, so they won't be included in any exported versions of the process definition. Another useful feature in the modeler is adding documentation in your diagram. In the Details panel, click on the Properties tab. Here is a text field where you can add documentation for your process. This is a good place to include additional information that doesn't fit within annotations or you could also link to external resources. Now you've added collaborators and used some of the communication features in the modeler, 